So what we're doing is actually walking from Bronte Beach to Bondi Beach. It's like a slow walk is about 40 minutes. It's a very beautiful scenic walk. The waters are the most lovely sea green you could ever see. It's sunny, there's so much of breeze, it's like a cool breeze and you're walking in the sun. And it's filled with people, it's, you could just live here. This is the kind of life you want. Sundays on a blue beach, surfing, renting a barbecue and just hanging out. It's really lovely. Why are we standing out of the beach? We should be in. So I'm at the Tamarama beach here and it's it's exquisite. I mean, you just have to see this installation. It's absolutely beautiful. The rocks look like they've kind of melted, you know, and they've got these various colors because of the erosion. And it looks absolutely like the sides of a cake that has been really well done. That's stunning. We're at the Icebergs restaurant at Bondi Beach. Very nice, very warm. Oh, yum. Brilliant. That's the crunch of the squid. It was like peppery, salty, something that says take another bite. One of my favorite desserts, it's a pavlova. Yum. So it's very nice because you can actually see the vast expanse of the Bondi Beach. That's where we're going to be surfing next. Not surfing, I'm going to be trying to get on to the surfboard. So I'm really excited about going surfing. The instructor first teaches you how to balance one's body on a surfboard and so you practice on the sand first. And then you try lying down on the board in really shallow water. Standing up on the board whilst on the sand is actually quite funny. But you have to pay attention to the instructor because positioning is key when it comes to surfing. I had too much of fun practicing, but it all felt kind of weird. The water just tosses you around like you're a rag doll, but you've just got to get onto the board and try and try to succeed, or don't. Yay, finally stood up on the surfboard, even if it was just for a little time. <laughs> 